HDL cholesterol also plays an important role in prevention and treatment of atherosclerosis. HDL cholesterol can regulate the amount of LDL cholesterol by having it transported to the liver where it is degraded. Furthermore, HDL cholesterol can actually lead to macrophages and foam cells removing LDL cholesterol from their cytoplasm and into the lesion site. When the LDL has been transported out of the macrophages and foam cells and is free in the lesion site, HDL can initiate the transport of LDL cholesterol to the liver for destruction. Lastly, HDL cholesterol can have an anti-inflammatory result when encountering macrophages and foam cells. When HDL is uptaken by macrophages and foam cells, HDL cholesterol can inhibit the production of chemical messengers that signal inflammation, and HDL cholesterol can weaken the ability of the endothelium to transport cells involved in inflammation into the site of the atherosclerotic lesion. Thus, HDL cholesterol is an important tool in both prevention and treatment of atherosclerosis. It is important to point out, however, that HDL cholesterol can take on more than one form, and some forms of HDL cholesterol seem more beneficial than others in preventing atherosclerosis. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest video on the science of human physiology.